myself dr ashdi so today i am here to provide you an insight on how to use first aid for biochemistry during your fmg preparation so as you all know biochemistry is a very volatile subject right during our college years we spent hours studying the cycles enzymatic reactions etc but when it comes to exam especially mcq type exams we need to study exactly what is needed rather than mugging up each and everything okay so let me make it sure once that before using first aid for your last minute preparation make sure you have at least properly read through biochemistry during your college years so it will it will make the journey much more easier okay so today i am here to tell you how i used first aid so as i said initially it was all about concept building but later on uh, when you grab first aid before that just check out all pyqs okay so it can be the pyqs of fmg as well as neat pg or even you can take one year of inict and from there write down all the important topics which are being repeated now once you keep this paper ready start reading your first aid and while reading highlight those topics which you have already seen as pyqs so that's how i began doing this so as you see here whatever highlighted here has been a part of question in previous year topics so it's all about chromatin structure heterochromatin all these methylation nucleotides and then you can see about the pyrimidine and purine synthesis and in that already lefnomide was already asked and then adenosine deaminase deficiency this is a pyq you can see it in when you're practicing biochemistry questions and lechnayan syndrome is in most of the questions okay you can't skip this and then genetic code features and then particular the use of helicase all these can be tested and then comes the nucleotide excision repair and mismatch repair it's uh, these two are already being asked especially when you take the pyqs you can see questions on xeroderma pigmentosum so all these are already being asked so you can expect the same thing and then mutations in dna you have to learn about the nonsense mutation and missense mutation which can well, once both of these were already asked and maybe you can also expect a silent mutation then lack of tron and finally all this splicing everything introns exons then all the mrna start codons okay stop codons all these are very much important then chaperone protein what this was also asked already and then cell types then it's always good to know about the cell and the peroxisome cytoskeletal elements microtubules so all these you can see it in questions here and there then primary ciliary dyskinesia and collagen types you can always find this okay in pyq so collagen types are really important and then osteogenesis imperfecta definitely this is a very important question and you can always find it in pyqs dalloz syndrome menkes disease okay and the uh, menkes disease also it can be confused with wilson so you should know both of these disorders then pcr pcr was also asked in one of the question about the steps and all then the blotting procedures this was also an important topic karyotyping so you can just when you're going through the pyqs you can just start highlighting the topics which are already being tested so that's how you will start using uh, first aid for your final preparation then modes of inheritance yes this is a really important topic and even in the last fmg 2023 this was asked then cystic fibrosis muscular dystrophies trinucleotide repeats then all these autosomal trisomes okay you cannot miss any sort of these syndromes like down syndrome edward you cannot miss all these okay so all these are very much important and then especially vitamins and i think i do not have to emphasize it because all of you know that vitamins are very much important topic in fmg preparation right so there is a beautiful short review for all the vitamins and uh, this is quite enough when you're reading about vitamins and cashew oil marasmus all these are very much important right then the metabolism sites then all these enzymes so it's a little hard when you go through all or each and everything but at least in this rapid review kind of first stage you can at least see exact points written there and it will help you in the last minute preparation so and all these so all these are actually phenyl ketonuria maple syrup urine disease alkaptonuria so if you already started doing the pyqs you can understand all these topics are really much important right glycogen storage disorders and its enzymes so this is how 
using first aid will help you and also you can remember the topics very much quickly because of very short up to date points so that's it that's it for today thank you